Okay, so today we're going to talk about the very much talked about interview that Oprah did with Prince Harry and Meghan. And yeah, it's been trending all over social media in various countries, been talked about for days, aired on so many different countries, and the hashtag Harry and Meghan on Oprah has been trending on Twitter. And so today, uh, I am your co-host and I'm joined by African auntie and uncle. We are going to discuss this particular topic just because it's your life doesn't mean you can't feel trapped. Now in the interview, Harry did mention that he felt trapped. He actually felt trapped and Oprah was surprised saying, um, well, Megan felt trapped, but she didn't know, you know, how was he also trapped? This was his life. He had always been in this life. How was it that he felt trapped as well? So just because you're born into royalty, just because you're born into a certain family with certain privileges, does that mean that you then no longer can <laughs> have the human emotion of still feeling trapped and feeling just feeling overwhelmed with it all because you are human you can always feel trapped in any situation that you are not comfortable with mm -hmm. so i think he wasn't comfortable with so many things in the palace since he was a little boy mm. so he has grown up to I mean, resent a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of rappers and gangsters always say, uh, I didn't choose the streets, the, tr the streets chose, chose me. me. Yeah. And that's kind of what this is like, right? This is not something that he chose. Mm -hmm. But unlike these rappers and gangsters that are in the streets, they can come out of the streets. They can always go away, go to better neighborhoods, this and that. But when you're royalty, that's just not something you do. I don't, I don't think he only said he was trapped. I think he did. He did mention the brother's name. That the brother was, he was also trapped. trapped. Even the, the father, father is trapped. was also trapped. Mm -hmm. You see what he actually meant by that. I think it is only Harry who, Harry who can tell us. Mm -hmm. You know, you are born into it, mm -hmm. and this is royalty. And in any society, royalty has got its place. Mm -hmm. You know, with all the luxury that comes with it, I think there are certain things that you, as a royal. You cannot just easily do. Mm -hmm. You you are confined to you know to to, to certain things in life. Mm -hmm. You know, and if I if I really understood him, I think that was partly what he meant by he, he was he was trapped. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he didn't choose that life at all. Mm -hmm. He was born into it, and if you are born into it, uh, you are yeah. You can't run one, away. One way or the other, you are trapped. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you have to do what the palace expects you to do. Mm -hmm. You cannot just, uh, I mean, Harry cannot just walk into a cafe and go and sit there. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, mm -hmm. that exclusive life that people have outside, you cannot just be doing that. And people will say, "Yeah, come on, you have a whole palace. Your life, you're super privileged. You, say, you know, you never have privacy." Because according to what I'm listening, till you die, you have maybe one policeman following you everywhere. So it's not a free life, mm -hmm. you know. But not only that, we've all been in lockdown. Houses, the walls are closing in on most people. They're, they're losing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from that, let's say you were in an apartment before and you move to like a, a bigger house. You move to a bigger house or something like that. Next thing you know, you've accrued, you've accrued so many things and your house is starting to get smaller for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to relate, relate it to normal human being things because there's so many things that we also experience as non-royals mm -hmm. that we can actually try and see what is going on with these people and, and what they must be feeling. Even if it's a palace, mm -hmm. heck, even if it was an island, even if it was a whole country, at some point you would have seen every corner and it will drive you crazy because mm -hmm. you want to do what everybody else is doing. And I think now with lockdown, everybody should understand. And I think Megan actually mentioned this in the interview. Everybody should have an understanding of what it is to be confined to your house. Yes. Not by choice, but because they're like, it's a bad look for you to be out there. Oh, yeah. You're out there too often. For you four know. months, she said she went out twice or something. Yeah. Like and she said she was everywhere without actually going anywhere. Right? Mm -hmm. Because... If she was out, it was amplified. Imagine you go out two times and there's pictures of you everywhere with every twist and turn that you do. They photographed it because you are... Yeah. You see, one thing that I can say about the whole thing is that uh, uh, being in their position, you know, royals, mm -hmm. it, it has got its good side and it has got its bad side. Mm -hmm. The good side is that 
you know, you are open to all the good things in life. Mm-hmm. Money is not your problem. Everything, all the luxuries, think about it. Yeah. You have a driver driving you, you've got servants serving you, they carry you, you know, up high. Mm-hmm. You know, so the luxury that comes with royalty, you have that. Mm-hmm. You can enjoy that. But not the everybody maximum. wants the luxury. Some people but the want bad side, mm-hmm. The bad side is that your life is confined. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything that you are you are doing, you have to make sure that you are not being exposed. Mm-hmm. Look, I am a, just an ordinary person. Nobody knows me. I can just decide to go out and do whatever I want to do and come home. Mm-hmm. But as a royal, uh, yeah, the title alone, you, 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 your life is being determined mm-hmm. by, 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 by the title that you, you carry, mm-hmm. you see. So it has got its good side and equally its bad side. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you ask me right now, if you ask me to exchange my life, you know, for that of uh, with that of uh, Harry or uh, I wouldn't do it. Mm-mm. I would get a luxury. I will get everything that comes with it, mm-hmm. but I want my free life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want my free life. You are being I, I, I can mm-hmm. I can just go. I can go out play football after the football. Mm-hmm. I go to a pub, have a glass of beer, wine, just name it, and come home. They can do that. They can do that. Well, on the other way around, you can say, well, because they were born into it, they have not known the other side of life. Mm-hmm. You know, they have not known the other side of life. Like, oh, uh, me, mm-hmm. for instance, sitting here. If all of a sudden uh, I become a royal, I'm just saying something. I have, I, I mean, I'm a downtrodden person. I have come from a very far, I mean, far away place to become who I am now. Mm-hmm. So I know that the life of a poor person. Mm-hmm. You know, so if I if you take me from where I am now mm. and you make me a prince, my life has changed in a minute. Mm. You know, so I can compare the my my other life that I've led before now mm. and uh, the life as a prince. Mm. But they haven't they haven't you know they haven't experienced the the the, the, the ordinary man's life before. Mm. All they know is royalty royalty well the thing about it is i think uh, they haven't experienced it but you know of it this is just like all mm-hmm. the the africans and eh, since this is the african auntie and uncle react um you know uh video slash podcast um you know in africa there's a lot of people that have seen europe that have seen the western world so they want to come here mm. you want to come here on the simple basis of the things that they've seen in movies and stuff and the things that they've seen portrayed there they like mm-hmm. i want to experience that too you know so i think they've they've been brought up in the royal family but they know what it's like and also no, let's not forget they've tasted a little bit of freedom they have they, they don't have. know they, they they've been in the you know what is it mm-hmm. their boarding schools boarding and their schools, yeah. and their uh, the, the military and yeah. what and what mm-hmm. and now it's a little taste of what it's like to be free a little taste mm-hmm. it wasn't cameras flashing mm-hmm. everywhere but also some of the things well, not they all have the time. Their friends too. Yes. So they have their they, own group there. Mm-hmm. Without the royals and so on. Mm-hmm. They do go out. They do go out. Yeah. They do know. And sometimes if they have that taste of it, they would like to see what can what would it be like for me to do this all the time. Mm-hmm. Not just when those higher up minions that we don't even know who they are tell us, Oh, you can do this and that. Because before we all thought, hey, the queen, that's it. That's the highest of the highest of the highest of the highest. Mm -hmm. And now we are learning that there are actually other people that are advising. I'm not going to say control. I don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. But strongly advise, you know. And strongly object. Yes, to certain things. Mm -hmm. But you were also mentioning that, uh, for instance, they have certain benefits, like people driving them around. You know, Megan made a point that she had to, you know, hand in her passport, her driver's license, and her keys. Then she'd see them again, you know. Um, That's not... The, the driving around thing i don't think it's something all that great really because again it's not freedom mm-hmm. it is whenever there's somebody available to drive you around and then there's always somebody with you in the car you know it's not like how we just put on a nice music and we are cruising you know so it's the privacy part is is the main part mm-hmm. that is the thing that is really really yeah it's really really terrible to give up you can have all the money in the world but if you can't be on your own when you want to be, be on your yourself. own that is a terrible thing mm-hmm. you know 
So just because they are royals, it doesn't mean that they can't feel trapped. They are human beings they, they at the trapped. end of the day. They feel trapped. And I think as times are are becoming more and more modern, because mm-hmm. if you read a lot about the royal family and stuff like that, certain things were of certain times. Mm-hmm. But the times are t- changing. Mm-hmm. And I think that with this interview, it's something is going to shift. Uh, shift a bit. You know? I, I, I was reading the British newspapers today. And you know the public opinion is divided. Yep, and it is. It is very, very much divided. Mm. And you know what I say is that if things continue to go on this way, if mm. things because it's not only blacks who are siding with Harry and Meghan, Mm-mm. some whites too, you know, yep. some whites too, and you see, especially the younger generation. Mm. You see what is what the, I mean? How these things are being. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, taken, you mm. know, in the in the in the in the United Kingdom, mm. and what I think is that what I my take on this is that if things continue to go the way they are going, mm. you know, uh, the future of the monarchy is going to be in jeopardy in mm. the future. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe not in our lifetime, but one day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, because there know, are people who don't like if, it. If, actually, if, if they should, if they should put this thing into a referendum, it's going to be a danger, mm-hmm. like they did, you know, at the mm-hmm. time of Brexit. Mm-hmm. You know, if they should let the British people vote, do you want the monarchy, or do, do we have to do away with the monarchy because it it costs the British taxpayer a lot of money, millions, mm-hmm. millions, and if they have a very very good campaign, the 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 the. Do, doing away with the distant, mm-hmm. the monarchy people. Mm-hmm. If they have a good campaign, they will win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They will surely win. Mm. The French did it. Mm. They used to have a monarchy before. There have been there have been mm. noises in the past. And there was there uh, yeah yeah a lot of noise. Noises in the past mm-hmm. that they spent too much money. I mean the queen is. I mean, uh, without doubt, the the richest or one of the richest women in the. In the world, mm. you know, she she's got a lot of money, mm-hmm. and yeah, uh, if you are campaigning, you know, for for people to leave the monarchy, and you bring all these arguments, they will say, what what? I mean, the taxpayers' money should should be used, you know, profitably, mm-hmm. and not for one individual. Yeah, enjoying all the luxury. Mm-hmm. It's definitely true. The money is a factor. The entrapment is <laughs> definitely a factor. a factor because now it's starting to look like, uh, hmm, kind of like it's giving me Britney Spears conservatorship vibes, you mm-hmm. know. It's very controlling, it doesn't make you a free human being. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, we only have this one life to live, you know. And people are making a lot of um, parallels mm-hmm. between this couple and obviously what happened to Princess Diana, which mm-hmm. we will come to in another video slash mm-hmm. podcast but mm-hmm. you know there is something to be said and we can name so many celebrities and people that the the, the tabloids the, the press the just the media has driven them to to mm-hmm. to a, a terrible end you know so yeah it, it's it's definitely going to be something that people are going to be talking about uh, a lot for and a I long think, time for a long time this interview was it was crucial it was op- my mine opener. Yeah, it was a mine opener. For you, sure. you see, the, the the fact is, the timing of the interview. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was great. They say there are two sides to every story. Mm-hmm. We have listened to uh, that of Harry and Meghan. Mm-hmm. We've not listened to. I, I don't think anybody from the the, the, the the palace is going to tell the other side. Mm-hmm. You know, and you cannot judge if you just listen to one side. Mm. And you know, I'm not saying I'm for I'm for. Uh, I do admire them, mm-hmm. Prince, uh, the Prince Harry and the wife. I really do admire them. They are just a perfect couple. Mm-hmm. You see, the fact is that n- nobody is coming from the other side to tell the other side. But by then, listening to what they are saying, I'm not sure they are faking the stories. Mm. Mm-hmm. I am not sure they are faking the stories at all. Mm. You know, because to the extent of some someone. Uh, in spite of all the, you know, the the, 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 the the good things that come with marrying a prince, mm. going to the extent of taking her own life, mm. it, it's not for nothing. Mm-hmm. 
it's not for nothing and, and yeah and and you see uh harry harry did the best that every individual would have done mm-hmm. she saw the mother she, even though he was young mm-hmm. we were we were old we were adults when the mom died mm-hmm. but by then he he knew the mother at, at, i mean he was just a boy of i think five or so but at least he knew the mother it and was he about 13 was about 13. 13. 12, yeah. 13. okay mm-hmm. But but yeah, thirteen. He was a big boy. Yeah, he knew. Remember you know? a lot. Yeah. And, and and aside the fact that he was a little boy, you see that people will be telling telling him mm-hmm. what happened to their mom. Yeah. And he say, look, if you don't stand up, the same thing is going to happen to yeah. you and your wife. wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know when Diana also married their dad, they said she was living with her friends in the apartment, mm-hmm. and then they took her away. And when they were courting or when they were engaged. She went to the palace. Mm-hmm. They gave her apartment for herself in the palace, mm-hmm. and she was alone. Mm-hmm. You know, people will come in the morning. People are outside watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can watch the guards outside. You can watch people trooping to take pictures. But when they are gone, what do you watch? Yeah, nothing. Mm-hmm. It's difficult. Nothing. But also, one thing you were saying about her, you know, wanting to take her own life and stuff like that. We'll talk about this in another podcast slash video. But a lot of people are saying, hey, what if what they're saying is all lies? And I'm like, the audacity of people. You think that these people have so much to lose. Actually would rather not be in the public eye to talk about this. Mm-hmm. Sure, they're doing videos with James Corden, you know, the mm-hmm. comedian. Mm-hmm. They're doing the Spotify mm-hmm. deal, the Netflix deal. These are all things they need to do to keep themselves afloat. This is a money thing, right? Mm-hmm. This is what they have to do now because the royal family has cut them off financially. So these are the things they have to do now that is in the public eye, but they're doing it to get money. But why would they come and sit across from Oprah well, just just to lie? No, so like why look, they are not going to even gain anything? Look, from it? look, look I, I, I don't think they were lying. No. That is my take. And uh, when Michael Jackson was alive, mm-hmm. you know, someone said when he was on top of his career, okay. mm-hmm. someone said, you know what? If Michael Jackson goes to the studio, mm-hmm. And start crying, mm-hmm. and he brings that out as a as a, as a singer. Mm-hmm. People will wear mask. <laughs> they sure mm-hmm. would. Mm-hmm. You know. So what I want to, well, the point that I want to make is that Harry mm-hmm. and Meghan, the name alone. Now Oprah did ask a question that hey, uh, people are saying uh, you are making all these deals and mm-hmm. millions are mm-hmm. coming, millions of money. I mean dollars are coming in. So they are saying, yeah, you are uh, money making uh, yeah. royals, yeah. Yeah. money making royal. Yeah. That was exactly what that mm. is. So what is your take on that? Mm-hmm. And it was Megan who answered that question. I have forgotten what she said. But what one thing that I want to say specifically is that without those deals, I know Harry and Megan were not g- going to be poor mm-hmm. at any, because there are things that they can do they can be doing charity they can do so many things mm-hmm. to, to organizations to, end, yeah, mm-hmm. to, to, to make i mean to make money mm-hmm. enough money mm-hmm. you know to make enough money mm-hmm. so well uh it is what it is yeah it is what it is but uh, i think as time goes on people would sit down after listening to this um, story broke this week after people listening to the story over and over and over again, mm. they will come to the re- realization that this thing was not faked. Mm. This is something that has happened. It was real. Mm. It was real. Why would you say that? You know, yeah. my look at the whole thing is that it is it is good. It is an eye opener. Mm. It is good that this Oprah interview has come out. Mm. We know at least the gist of the life in the palace mm. we have never gone there but these two have come out to tell us that it isn't anything that glitters that is gold mm. you know you see somebody oh he's sitting in a limousine he's this that but what happens in, in his real life if mm-hmm. he tells sometimes you, they don't want it mm-hmm. if he tells you you you'll be surprised you'll be surprised mm-hmm. you know in as much as in as much as they have come to uh, to tell us uh, I mean, how life is mm. in the palace and how they feel now. I know in the near foreseeable for- 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 future, we can learn more. Mm-hmm. We can learn more about the, uh, you know, the two of them. And 
maybe another person will come out to make uh, uh, another video so looking at maybe we'll talk about it in the in the next uh, this mm. what i'm going to say okay like harry did mention you know, sometimes you need to before you hop into the the limo or whatever into the car you know you, you would have been crying or whatever you dry your tears and you and know smile. You, you sp smile because smiling and being friendly and being warm is actually part of the job it's actually part of every mm -hmm. job but mm -hmm. for them it's extra you have to put it on thick mm -hmm. and that in itself shows that they are humans too mm -hmm. you know the fact that you need to put on a brave face that brave face doesn't come with the package of being royal they have to put it on mm -hmm. even if they're sad they have to switch mode because that is the role that they need to fulfill when the lights are off you cry that's what that's what they said as mm -hmm. well yeah so just because it's your life it doesn't mean you can't feel entrapped because they are humans too. And that's our take on it. I have been your co-host. It has been African Auntie and Uncle React. See you next time. <laughs>